a Ron Cole, Madison, Nick, Zach, Jeremiah, Tom. Did we have somebody there? Okay, okay. So we're missing one, potentially one more. Okay, all right. Well, we can go ahead and get started since we got a. Okay. We'll start slow. So you guys can go ahead and open these. My name's Cameron. I'm the instructor. I've been doing these with the game store for a couple of years. Three, actually, since COVID. Um, started doing them. That's why I have the stream set up. Bad habits, old habits. It was, I did them at home and people watched. And now we've finally done, I think we've done, this is our third one in the store. Wow. Um, so I do, them, I do them here every like four months or so. Um, we usually do, I was just telling them, we usually do the Whiz Kids. They have the paint night kits where all the paints come in the box. The model's already done. It's already primed and we just get painting. The past two times we've done the Frameworks kit, which is the model on sprues, and we got to do some assembly and glue. So we have a lot of tools here. They've provided the prismatic paint sets, so you have every paint imaginable. I also have every paint imaginable. Um, so you can do these these browns certainly. We will invent a new paint today. <laughs> so you got you know if you want to paint your Minotaur stark white, I think that we can make that happen. Bright purple, whatever you want to do. Um, <clears throat> so there are three, there are th technically four things we're going to do in order here today. First thing is we're going to cut these out of the sprues. It's important to remember which ones you cut out. I like to align them back with the sprues after I cut them because it's going to be like L1 to R3 and you're not going to, if you just put them all in a pile, you're not going to remember where they were. <clears throat> so with this kit, if you look on the back of the box, and this image was on the store page too, you're not using every piece, but they give you options, which is awesome. Um, so you can do like, he's got the two hands axe, you can do the one hand, he's, you can hold like a lantern, there's a few pieces. So the last kit we did was like half spider. Um, so that was, it was frustrating. There was, it was not a beginner's one. All right, we had less tools. You had to glue eight legs onto the thing. Um, this one is going to be much easier. So, it, right. So it looks like the kind of the legs and torso are going to be pretty straightforward. Some of those kind of, I imagine there's going to be some snap um, or pretty easy glue points there. And then it's just pick your head and pick your, uh, pick your arms. And I'm not sure what that tombstone thing is, but we'll have to see what that looks like. Let me show on the, and then we glue it to the base. <clears throat> so tools. We have around you, uh, I think there's only three pairs of these, the snippers. There is, I've got something else here. And feel like a free... you know, I, I have a pair in my car. Feel free to take those from me. I can. We have, there's. I think they just have the one hobby knife, which is like if you see, you know, you snipped and there's some edges. You got. Oh, we got a couple hobby knives here. Okay. That's okay. I tried to bring it all. Uh, adhesives. We have probably four of these bottles. The Just Games blue floating around. We do have two of these zip kicker glue accelerators in case you're frustrated and you just you want to cheat a little bit um but yeah exactly so you got to be one of these bottles is almost empty and one it was one person last time uh and he i'm pretty sure he couldn't get out of his car when he got home he was stuck to it so it's uh you can cheat with these but be careful because if you got in the wrong spot it's gonna be hard to wedge it out um <clears throat> After we have cut it and assembled it, then we're gonna take it out back, well, out front, um, and we're gonna prime it. <clears throat> so uh, we have an army painter black, and then I went to Home Depot and I got a couple of the white. Um, and what we'll do is we'll do kind of the sweeping spray prime to get that like nice gray, so paint sticks to it. Then we'll come back and we'll paint it. Um, and we have all the paints imaginable. So I think that's, uh, it should take about, depending on, how well this assembles and how quickly this assembles, let's say three hours. So let's get started. Also, high stream for those of you watching not live or watching live. Hello. I 
Yeah, okay, so the body's like three pieces. That's like in a perfect world. What you looking for? Yeah, grab that one. And yeah, I got four left over. Oh, it's like his tail. Okay. So we got the front, back, and the tail. We got like some claw things. We got the base. We have. The two-handed axe, Get around <laughs> lantern, scroll. What is this? Get some right clean flesh, uh, flesh shade. We're gonna cheat with some wash after this. Look at where you've seen all these letters and numbers. Okay. There's like a very big. Let's transition down to here. Okay. Gotcha. So in terms of pieces that like absolutely you need to assemble this, I think there's only like three and then everything else is is like all the different heads and stuff. So we don't have to worry as much about pieces getting lost. We had the last kit, I mentioned it was a, it was like a half spider. Oh no. Oh shoot. <clears throat> we got to, uh, well, I should have grabbed paper towels in the bathroom. Okay. Watch the, uh, yep. As I'm, telling, as I'm telling you, don't be careful with this. <laughs> <laughs> it's that yeah, well, the last kit we had, people misplacing all the legs, and then the legs didn't look right in spots. Are these four pieces part of it? So, which ones? Like these, these pieces. Um, what? Yeah, what is it? It, uh, it almost looks like it's. Yes. It's yeah, so you put them on the arms, looks oh, like. Arms, can, so, like the. That one says TC, so that's the piece that goes behind the head, I think. Oh, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to stay up with my friends. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So, that so one you pointed at is for the one with the small ones. Okay, okay. And I oh, think, those go along with Oh, so got it. the heads have their own hair then. Three and three. All right. And then. So the head choice is two. I guess. Gotcha, so gotcha. You A or B for the head. Oh, All right. I need two. Which one are we going to go Sorry, get it out of the way early, right? No more. I like a pick up. Oh, Yeah. No, I'm not even gluing it. This is my color. I guess every number is Yeah, I think that I think that the number one is like the constant, like that's the whole body, right? Yeah. And then everything else is. <laughs> you're already the gluing. Wow, you're fast. I'm still trying to cut it all out. What did I sign up for? <laughs> All right, does it give you space for the tail to stick out? Oh, the tail kind of goes along the back. That's cool. I like that. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, I have a glue right here. Yeah, go for it. There's a glue over there. There's a couple glues. 
Um, I need the gasher. <laughs> charge for the nippers. That's a little safer. There you go. Yeah, go for it. Uh, grab one of these. I don't think I can. I think it shows up as pretty. Yeah, that's sharp. Cool. All right. Just kind of get some of that screw mark off there so it fits better. Mm -hmm. And let's look here. See a couple spots. Oh, is it? That's a, that one's probably mine, and it has yes. not been opened in probably <laughs> six months. Uh, yeah, let's let's see. Is this one here? That one's that one might be empty. That one was also mine. Here, let's let me grab you one of those down there. I would do it. So a couple dots. Yeah. Um, you're gonna find that, that I don't know how to explain it, but it's gonna feel right when yeah. you got it in the right groove, right? Right. right. And then, the yeah. And the, you know, obviously you want to try and eliminate all the any gaps. There might be like a little hobby knife action there. And 20 seconds holding is usually is a good rule of thumb. Okay. Hi. Hmm. <clears throat> think that you're the last one. I'm Cameron. I'm the instructor. Here's uh, Colleen. Nice to meet you. So we just got started. You didn't miss much. Um, we're, uh, <laughs> we already had one workplace accident. Um, so we're currently cutting them all out of the sprues. We're going to assemble and glue them together. Then we're going to prime them and paint them. One step at a time. So there are snippers, glue, whatever you need. Uh, well, let me see. I'm, let me try and glue one of these and see. Gauge the difficulty. Whoa! I can't even get the top off. Oh, that one must be mine. It's uh, stuck. You're welcome. Well, it's, I mean, it's... It's for you, it's for you until you have to start painting. You can drink it now. <laughs> you can certainly drink it. I have extra cups if anyone wants water. All serious painters have done I won't tell them, I won't tell them that you uh, won't get the uh, water bottle. All right. Did you get it open or did you give up? Yeah. That one is mine, I and it's... I'm trying not to bleed all over it, too, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't, um... I might, we might just take snips to it and cut it open, because I think that one's on its last legs. Actually, this one's hard to get open, too. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Never mind. Want, might want to take, uh... That one's... I don't care if you cut that... Oh, shoot. Stop. Try that one. See what you got. So... That's why they give you so many. It's not really an option, it's just whichever one works. <laughs> yeah, which one? I haven't, uh, I'm probably the furthest behind. I haven't checked yet. But 
It's gonna be a perfect. Yeah, do you wanna? I think there's a first aid kit. You want to get you something? Uh, band aid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a couple of minutes. Let me look for that right now. That's the thing. I'm trying. It's not too bad, but every time I try, pick up the glue and squeeze on it, it starts spurting out. Yeah. Yes. I can't even slide on the I'd be more than happy to donate, so. I mean, Well, I got a lot of blood spills going on over here, too. I will take that glue in exchange. Let's see how uh my top. No, this one's not mine. Oh, I thought mine's the one that looks yeah, that looks yellow because oh. I've had that glue oh, for so long. Well, yeah. I think the top is plugged on that one. Yeah, I might just tear it apart. All right, let's see. So let's try and get a little bit of glue along this uh, outline. Come on. Oh, this top is plugged, you said. Yeah, the end. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna grab, grab these snips. That's right. We can always just make it a little wider. There we go. Okay. It's coming right. Yeah, now. yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's. This is for the camera. Let's get a little bit of glue along the side here. All right, this looks good, this looks good, this looks good. 20 seconds. We're, we're moving. Yeah, absolutely. How are you doing over there? Uh, the glue's working. The glue is working, that's good. What it's working on, that's different. It is working. Uh, go for it, go for it. Burn the boarding house reach there. Mm. Yeah, this feels like it's not going anywhere. Okay. And then the tail. You guys, uh, your guys' tail looks like it kind of sweeps to the, to the left like that. Yeah, that feels like the best fit. Okay. Yeah. I'll grab that glue back when you, uh, yeah, but oh, for yeah. a second, I... Oh, this is... Yeah. Okay. Not too much. You don't want to explode everywhere. But this is the right fit. Move my fingers together, that's fine. Okay. 
Careful. 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 It works. <laughs> Good. All right. All right. How's everyone doing with ju with the base part? Just the body and the tail. Everything looking all right. This is much easier than the last one we did so far. Working on the head. <laughs> yep. Yep. With the dryer. The space inside it. It'll be covered. I mean, the paint will. It'll be fine. But if you see any of that, yeah, yeah, it, trimming is the solution. So if you see that with the head, like I got a little piece that's still stuck out here, that might be a problem. Are we ready to do the head Yeah, absolutely. So we can, this is a, your own pace. So however, if you feel like you're ready for the next step, go to step, I just, yep, I'm on step two. Um, I mean, I'll, I'm staying here until it's done. So I'm assuming it'll be done by five. You know, painting is gonna, painting's gonna be the hardest or the longest, not the hardest, but the longest part. But um, we're actually flying by right now just because we have so many tools. Because last, the, the drider kit was, it was like 14 people spanning two tables and we had like two bottles of glue. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I probably should have done that. Can I borrow those snips? Oh, so perfect. Oh, thank you. It may have been used to clear out a place. That's okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see how we can get this top off, because... Ah. We're doing a little... <laughs> No, but it doesn't hurt. No, no, I know, but yeah, I just glued the arm on it. Yeah, I did it. Oh, that worked. Okay. Oh, shoot. All right, so this glue, you can access this glue, just only this way. So be confident. Yeah, this this is stuck. I was trying to pry it off. Yeah. I also don't know. I can't speak to how adhesive it is because it's turned yellow. I think I left this glue out in the sun. It was just the way the sun hits the window. I think that this glue was in it. Oh, yeah, the, the cheating spray. No judgment. Go for it. No, 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 no. It's perfect. It did some people well last time for sure. All right, what do I, all right, we're on step two. Which, I like long horns. Who's, who's doing long horns, yeah? Who's doing short horns? Short horns, okay. I'm doing long horns, let's go. Look at those long, is it sharp? I had to take mine apart. Did you? Because the way that the arm fit on. The two hands? Yeah. That's, I was planning to use the two hands, yeah. I want the two hands for sure. You'd want to, it makes sense because there's it, there's a lot of cool options. He can be holding like a scroll or a lantern or like a rope. I don't know what this is. Looks like a bell. I feel like those have to go in the tree though. Like I don't see where Oh, you're right. Is this pillar? Oh, you're right. It does. You're right. I saw that. Hey, man, I had to, like, we lost Nick about 10 minutes. Oh. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh. There was a second one of those floating around here. Oh, you know what I also have? This might work a little bit. Watch, pardon me. Oh no, you're fine. Um, this might work too. I have this file that you can definitely uh, shave some stuff off with it. Yeah.
That's true. That's a. It's. It's so hard to choose. Looks like there's two pieces that go on the long horn or the small horn. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. All right. Let's see just how. I like the ears too. How's it going? Are you here as a competitor today? No, as a commander player. Ah, nice. Yeah. Awesome. The weirdest, the yeah. It's always great. Well, you know, so you do what you love, and sometimes you never want to come here when you're not working, kind of thing. So it's good to see you here. I'm glad you haven't lost that spark. No. <laughs> Much time so if I went with a small, a small horse, uh -huh. I'm, I, I obligated to use the one-handed axe. I mean, no, you can, you can do whatever you want. Okay. You can try and put both axes on it if you have enough glue. Well, the only reason I ask is that the arms only are attached to the one arm or one-handed axe. Once I have to the two-handed, the two-handed axe are only the hands, not the arms. Yeah. So, so the two-handed axe, I think it's. It's okay. one arm and a hand. So the two-handed axe has its own arm. I was going to do... Oh, I see it. Okay. You can do the short horns and the two-handed axe. Oh, you can. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, it doesn't interact with the arm. And, like, the two-handed axe is two pieces because one of the arms is on the axe. The other one, you need the arm, but it, you okay. got the fist on it. Okay. Yeah. When you, uh, who's done the head so far? Does it look... Does it feel like you kind of kind of cupped it under the neck? There. Oh, you get the long. Yeah, my, you my got the head. long. Yeah, yeah. Yours is kind of like kind of over the neck like this, right? Because it's. It... Yeah. Oh, you got to do the pieces first. Yeah, definitely head first, then. Yes, I got clippers right here. <laughs> Really the file works. That works. Okay, that's probably good. Let's go. Man, you are cruising. We're gonna have to pick up the pace here. My bar is going real quick. Oh, no. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Yeah, so, yep, so, so, because the platform it stands on is kind of like that rocky, but then the clear is, like I have, for example, I have in front of me a base holder, um, so if you want to grab it. Also, it's easier to slide across the table, right? So do we put them on the base before we assembly them? Uh, you can put it, I would put it on the base after we're done painting. Because yeah. you don't want to get paint on the clear base. Okay. So oh, you can, see, I was just about to do them. You can if you want, but like, so, <laughs> yeah, I would put it on the base. Because you want to prime the base too. Because you want to paint the base, you know, the that gray, brown, whatever yeah. color, whatever you're standing on. Nope, doesn't matter. 
As long as you've gotten everything done with the... Yeah, there's nothing else to go on the feet, so you can glue them right in. And I don't think that he's... You know, you can kind of put him however you want to put him on the... Sharp objects. Yeah. Uh, how does he pick your best spot to stand him on? All right. Oh, I see how the hair works. That's cool. Got two pieces that have to go together. So I chose the easy one. <laughs> yeah, stick to my finger fine. Oh, that surface area of your finger, uh, fingerprint. Is everybody building the same thing? Yeah, we're all, it's um, this guy, this guy today. Yeah. Yeah, watch the core. It's the only only downside. Yep. Oh shoot, this wasn't sticking at all. Hmm. My hair is not sticking. I think it's because I glued the body, not the hair. Yeah, we're, uh, we're going to be moving on to priming probably within 20 minutes. Yeah. You're going to have to head up to the uh, register and get a response. Um, no, no, it's okay. It hurt your machine. No, it's okay. Hmm. Did, it, did, did it give you a recon? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, we got the hair on. We got the hair on. Let's do a quick lap. So, and then I really had to just shove that out. That's, yeah. That's what I do. The head... I did. I don't know if that was the right answer. The head went on fine, the but the... The piece of hair goes on his right shoulder. Yeah. The stream. Oh, see oh, the see hair piece right here. Oh, oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Is that focus? There we go. Yeah, so I glued the head on first, but then the hair, I made the mistake of gluing... I put the glue on the body, and then it didn't catch right. But you put it along the side, outside of the hair, you're fine. Yeah. Also, points for whoever finds the best standing position on this base, because <laughs> it's that's always fun too. Uh, does anyone have the hobby knife? Yes. Oh, it's gonna be easier. Thank you. Excalibur. Yep. Yes. Same one. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I so don't want to cut his foot off. And then that should line up. Like, like this. Yeah. All right. Let's stop. Let's stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you could line up the axis if you want to be like doubly sure. Oh, that's true, too. Yeah. Because yeah. I had to, I put on the axe first, and I had to take it apart. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out how the stump works now. Are you doing the two-handed axe? Yeah. 
Uh, or the, yes. one, the one, okay. I don't know how that works either. It doesn't show it on the model. I'm wondering if it's like, if it's an external thing that sits on the base in front of it, you know? It's, yeah, that's the but. Yeah, that is tricky. It doesn't, uh... Let me do a quick, uh... Oh, you, what, you almost brought what? You green stuff like the grass and stuff? Uh, no, the putty. Oh, the putty. It's fine. Because the first thing I thought of is that it goes on his back, maybe. Yeah, it's on the back. Well, right, but I mean, why would they start at the six? I don't know. <laughs> on a Saturday. I don't know. It's between the Oh, no, I'm not questioning that. I'm just questioning the wires at six o'clock. I'm going to be worried. Whatever it's going to I don't think so. <clears throat> you look at the base the way it is yeah. here. Oh yeah, good you call. Got, you <clears throat> got this little indentation here. Yeah, it looks like okay, that's the front. It looks there's like he's standing right there. There's an indentation there and there. That's for the. Oh, uh, that's a good call. Yeah. <clears throat> Tom just pull it, called out a good point. So the indentations here and here are going to be the best spots to, to stand him. So like you can stand him however you want if you already did that. But you see this like kind of crease, kind of half circle here. Look, look at the picture on the front of the box. You can feel the indents. And look at the picture on the front of the box. You can align the base up the way it is there. And see the indentations where they should stand. Uh, well, maybe you're not supposed to put the stuff behind in there. I don't see... There's no completed pictures with the... Uh... Yes, go for it. Yeah, it's so... Oh, so then it does... It might work. I just looked at uh, a series of completed minotaurs to see what people did. It's nowhere to be found. Yeah, it's so weird. It might just be an extra piece. Yeah, I don't know. It's like an extra scenery piece you can throw out for your game. I'll see if I can get a space to wear it. Yeah, that's good luck putting it together. If you want to put the weights in the picture, it's very lovely. I'll sell all the arms and see which one I like better. That's what it's about, right? Yeah, it's good. Snag that glue again. For the two-handed axe, you put the arm on first. Did you put the arm on first and then the axe, or did you do it backwards? Okay, okay. Yeah, it looks like you want to put the arm on first. Um, with the one-handed axe, you got less, uh, it doesn't have to come together as much. All right, that looks good. 
Yeah, go right ahead. Go right ahead. He needs my borrow these from you. Where's Excalibur? Uh, the hobby knife? I don't see oh. it. We got the we got the file here. The hobby knife? Oh. Who's? I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> I figures I'd do something like that. It's like the first time in 10 years I've cut myself in the exact all night. <laughs> so excited. Well, I'm not. Well, it was right after I told Madison about how it was. Be careful. Don't cut yourself with this knife. It's very sharp. Wow. It was. I did that for you. It was an example, okay? Everyone saw it. What yeah. not to do? Uh, yes. 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 Yeah, this, this stuff is really something. It's cool. It's both decorated. I'd almost want to paint it before I put it on anywhere. But, well, no, because, like, even priming, it's, like, kind of... Have it be its own piece. It's kind of annoying. Um, can I have the other hobby knife, Madison? Can you have a second? Oh. Glue. This one's the stars. Oh, there is glue on it. Hmm. <clears throat> How you doing, Ron? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. No. Well, now I got. Yeah. I so far I haven't had a problem, but I've gotten the base on and the and the head on. We'll see what the axe looks like. I need four, I need four A. Yeah. Yeah, it'll make sense to. It might make sense to prime the. Thank you. Just because, like, I feel like the best place to put it is like in front of him or behind him, and you don't want to miss any spots. You got to get in there, and I would prime and paint it separate. Um, yeah. So I attached him to the base. It's not going to be that bad. It'll catch. It'll catch pretty much everything you want. Plus, then I have. It doesn't. It must be. It's got to be an external piece then. Probably just an extra piece for hmm. gaming or something. Yeah, another environment piece. Well, the other reason why I glued it to the base is because you can, if you have like one of these base holders, you can. Oh, actually, this is too big. You need an XL base holder for the monsters, but it's easier to hold when you paint. Just hold it in your hand. What is this? Does this look? All right, I need glue. Oh, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Whoa, too much glue, too much glue. like how does this look like an arm but his his fist is up i thought it was down. i thought it was gonna be down for a second okay so this makes sense man that's a tough one to, to pick though i didn't realize but i think that little thing for handed yeah it's just two points you gotta hold kind of yeah that's tricky is it a cowbell you think i noticed it was a bell that's cute Get Can you get it around his neck? <laughs> you can put it anywhere. Oh, that'd be funny if that is. But there's no completed... I don't know. That'd be so funny. I didn't bring tweezers, no. What you need tweezers for? Oh, to try and place it in? No. Shoot. <laughs> yeah. Curse. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, too much. Got it together. I don't know how strong this axe hand is staying, but we're it's on there. That is pretty cool. Yeah, it looks good. Uh huh. I'm wondering, mine, mine kind of looks like it's lurching too far forward on the base. Can't tell. I think it looks. I think that's how it's intended, though. Just for stream. Got him. Got the two hander box because uh, another option people are doing short horns one hander right we got long horns two hands priming soon the stream won't see we gotta go outside I, I gotta start prepping for that Everybody having fun. All right, cool. I love these. <clears throat> okay, we have our two priming stations. Oh, 
Is it on here? his neck? Yeah. No, that looks great. That looks great. <laughs> I don't you know, you, if you can, it'll, so the primer, don't get too hung up on the primer because it's gonna, it's gonna catch most things with the sweeping spray. Um, that's funny though, I love that. There is room to put it on. It's gonna be hard to get into paint though, but it'd be funny to see like a bright yellow bell or a white bell on yeah. it. Yeah. Hmm. No, 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 I think it's fine. As long as, the, I mean, it gives you kind of that natural fit from like a, you know, to make it stick perspective, but if you, the straight out is good. If anything, it's gonna get you, let you get in at this leg a little better when you're painting. But no, it's absolutely no wrong, no wrong decisions. I think that you can, you might be able to put it in his, you can put it in his open hand. Yeah. <laughs> you could drill a hole in it and stick it over one of his horns. What you need? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I'm going to bring my... Hmm. Yep, we'll give a... Once enough people are kind of feeling good about the assembly, we'll go to priming. I see. It kind of goes on like this. Mm 
Did you guys figure out 7C? It's like the taller branch that goes on the... Yeah, so okay. he took eight tunnels out away from the tree. So if you have the like, claw going towards it, you mm -hmm. Oh, does it click in? I think it looks like there's this... It, again, the, the, like the outside of the claw is facing away from the tree. Oh, I see. Okay, so kind of like this. Oh, I see, because it's it's it should latch to the. Uh, uh, oh, what'd you drop? Uh oh. Yeah, if we can't find it, it's no big deal. Hmm. Eh, don't see it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's pretty small, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You dropped the rope. Because <laughs> you're not using it. <laughs> I think it'll appreciate it. I figured it out. So like this. I 
I'm pretty sure this is glued in the right place, but it's also glued to my thumb, and I'm afraid to take it away. <laughs> oh, really? The other side I got, like, a, in a snap. Ooh. Look at some skin right there. Yeah, this just... You know what? It can be like a one-antlered altar. <laughs> Like a mm. Man, that is the fact that it keeps falling apart pretty easily means it's not right on the money. found it. We found it. We figured it out. We got it. Okay. All right. Got little, yeah, there's no way it fits on that base. It's just a extra piece. A pillar. Broken Lantern is cool. I'm just gonna see where everyone is. Uh, probably priming in five, ten minutes. I think everyone's got the base model done. I think I'm gonna keep my minimalist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I might for the interest of. First time out. I don't think I'm gonna play around with it. Yeah. It's an interesting choice. They were just like, ah, let's throw some more stuff in. Oh, yeah, Nixa Pro. Here's a pros. I'm just considering a victory. I got both hands on the right place. Yeah, yeah. I'm good right now. Does everyone have a, their model assembled? Like this. Everyone's good? I think we're ready to start to do priming. So let's, everybody, we're going to take a field trip outside. And I will try and make this as quick as possible. For the stream, we're going outside, so we will be back. Yeah. If you feel like you need to get back out there, then I can... Um, no, I'm just wondering, like, is that going to be a problem, you think? I don't think so. Because I, I did that. That hit that happened too, like, right under his yeah. crotch area. Like, I, I, don't, I didn't get much there. But... Um, oh, yeah, definitely. I'm leaving here. Even get see what's uh see how it works on it's hard to tell i'm sorry you have to no see it in if you feel like you got to get back out there i can get the cardboard back but i've i've had a couple times where i'm like ah this feels like i didn't prime this well enough there's so many nooks and crannies and then and then it ends up being all right you'll know for sure all right <clears throat> i think we got everybody we're missing zach okay all right, so the store has, has been gracious enough to give us uh, these kits to use and these paints, these paint brushes. So I'm imagining that there's you know, a couple of the round and the flat brushes. Um, I have tons of brushes also. Hmm. This, oh, look at that. So we got a basic starter kit and an intermediate case. So all the paints are... I imagine, yep, they're labeled, right? They're on the top. And I'm just trying to check to see. So there's a couple couple things to point out. I imagine the basic kit doesn't have this. Yeah, no, it does. Okay, so most of these are just paint colors. 
There's going to be a couple things in these that say wash or varnish, and those are kind of like a last touch. Like you'll notice the washes aren't paints. It's kind of like a, a colored oil that you would put on top of the mini that like finds the cracks and creates shadow kind of thing like that. So that's what a wash is. It's something you do after the miniature's been painted to kind of give it that detailed feel. Um, so I would just look out for washes and varnishes. That's kind of like an end touch-up piece. So these cases have both, but most of them are just plain colors. Hmm. So um, you guys are all going to need palettes. So let me give me one second here. You can use that also, but the parchment paper is well, it's a dry. Everyone has a water cup. Okay. 
Uh, stream people, we have provided to us uh, like two hundred dollars worth of paint in these prismatic paint kits. They retail for I think a hundred. Yeah, it's a lot of paint. That's her, yeah. Somebody loves painting. Okay, I'm gonna let's see what I got. Let's use some uh, some of these. Uh, we got. Yes. So brushes are um, should be some packs floating around. Got one more pack of brushes here. Oh. Yep. So I have. Oh, so I'll take this for the stream. This is what we got for the basic, and then there's also the advanced or the intermediate kit. Open it here. It looks like this, right? Bottles look like this. Hundred bucks. Thank you, store. I thought it might work. It did not. But we have paints that we've used from a billion other models. Shoot, I dropped my brush. Yeah. Definitely make sure you shake. Yes, shake all the paint with the lid on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little presumptuous, but okay. <laughs> I. I have uh, I have some stuff from home. I got this beastie brown. I got this bone white. Probably gonna look all right on it. Uh, yeah, I think yeah there are. Try uh, you want to use this palette? I they should be the, the colors should be all right. There's a beastie brown there. There's a couple of greens. There's a. No, I guess. What do I have here? A leather brown, a heavy sienna here. These, uh, they need to be shaken. Yeah, yeah, you gotta shake them. The pigments are gonna be weird. Yellows especially are um, in like very frustrating. Where is the? So a good rule of thumb is for base coat, start darker. So then you can kind of add highlights as you go. Yep. Well, it's nice the black primer got on the cracks. It really keeps yeah, it exactly. It really kind of blends together nice. All right. I got a lot of paint out of it. I don't have a cup of water. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Got a, we got a starter brush here. Actually, we have a fine detail brush. Let's see if we can't find it. Starter. Fine detail, fine detail, multi-purpose. If anyone needs a smaller brush, I've collected a number of like the fine detail ones previous kits if you feel like you need something smaller. I noticed that those brushes are, some of them are kind of like the flat, larger ones. What you doing first? Um, I'm just gonna start a bigger one. Oh, sure, yeah. Hmm. Oh, this one's my favorite. 
Still good condition. Old reliable. The Wargamer Regiment. How's that brown working? Looks good? That's good. Um, the beastly brown I might want for the bottom half, but I think I'm good for now. I'll start with the top. Oh, thank you. Oh, I have a beastly brown right here. Never mind. Yeah, I have a second one right here. Oh, yeah, that looks green. <laughs> it's very authentic. We matched it up perfectly. Uh, how many poor employees? <laughs> Get that blood tone right. More browns here. <laughs> Best part about the monsters is you literally can't make a mistake. If you put brown where you shouldn't put brown, I mean. Maybe he's dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, if you're trying to paint like a player character and the armor is shiny new, yeah. That's a little more tricky, but monsters, perfect. Yep. It's sticking. Yeah. Might be a couple spots where you won't even notice. Hmm. 
You're doing black and white cow? I thought about painting a white, like an albino kind of thing. Would you use like an, you have an ivory or like a pure white? Yeah. That's cool. I'm not, I'm not going to I'm not saying I'm going to copy you. I'm just saying that my guy's body might be also an off white. It's just going to look really cool with a wash. I think. Mm. Yep. Yep. Mine's going to be a white and brown though. Not a black and white. I, I did a mix. Oh, yeah, yours is, I'm using this a home color, but yours is definitely, that's a good dark start. Uh, you pass me that? Yeah. Got it. These two go into a thing. <laughs> that's one way to make it yours. <laughs> hmm. Can't believe we didn't do this in person during COVID. That's not true. I actually saw, yeah, I saw a completed one where black body, uh, red nipples. Okay, so we got a brown here established on all the hairy parts. And I think that we are going to, oh, we got to do the tail tuft. And then we can go to ivory. Actually, I have a bone white, so not the same. Oh, that's cool. I might do black hooves, I don't know. Black hooves, yeah. I might go. Yeah, better to go over white with black than <laughs> black with white. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's true. Man, I didn't even prime mine. Yeah, that's all right. problem with whites is that if they've been sitting around for a while, they're the hardest to kind of like make look white again. Hmm. Let's dip into this ivory, actually. Ivory. Yes. Yeah, I'm already committing a cardinal sin by dipping right into the pot. Um... But, so all of these paints that I have in front of me are from previous paint night kits, and it's the only instance where I'll dip right into the pot, because I find that the consistency is, like, not blobby. But if you're doing droppers, definitely want to... This is not my normal. I've painted for ages just like that, straight yeah. out of the pot. Right. It's all I do. You just don't want to cover up detail by accident if you got, like, if it's chunky or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, my my other friend there, he was big into the, he got into that whole like, palette thing, yep. and thing, and he kept oh. trying to get me to do it. Like, there's just something about it to me. It's like I'm wasting paint by putting the tr three drops on the paper when I don't need that much. Right, right. Yeah, right. yeah throwing paper. that paper away at the end is pretty. It's very sad. <laughs> you know, just putting it over that hurdle, like wasting. Yeah. Good answer. Super. Huh. 
They want you to waste. That's what they want. They want you to waste it. And you had to spend money to do it. No. Oh my goodness, this ivory looks really good on this. This is a, it's a good choice. The what kind of the off white on it? This color, this like whatever, like if it's convert, actually coming out really good. That's good. Oh yeah. Oh, that's like there's a lot of. That's the other thing I love to do. Um, something I love to do on the, on the monster minis is. You can wet blend right on the mini. You don't have to like blend a color on the palette first. You can just grab a little darker color and swirl it in and see where it lands. Yep, you'll find that you think you got it all in one color and then you flip it over in one way and you miss the complete underside of an arm. Thank you. 
Yes. I'm freaking cool again. No, but like, you Take a lap. back into my beastly brown and catch what I missed. Oh. 
I think we're doing black horns. Dark sea green, German camouflage black brown. That's confusing. I have two different blacks, but they look completely different. <laughs> Yep. Oh, yeah, that's that's dark. Okay. So this, let's get at those horns. Whoa, that's black. Too much, too much. Thank you. 
Last person that used that machine lost some money. Anywhere. <laughs> There's something stuck in the bottom. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah I can. Morning. Oh, you're good. Thanks. <laughs> My brother is getting drinkable. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the credit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your brother. It does a lot better job than I do. Well, forever we have work in progress. Yeah, you can always come back to it. Always. You'll finish in one year. This is a really gold bowl. Oh, you're doing the belt? I'm tempted to get the yeah. Oh, you could, yeah, like the little caps. Oh, that's so smart. Oh, the tips. I'm almost, I'm half inclined to. I might just do the full parties. I'm half inclined to break one of my horns, like half off kind of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's dangerous. <laughs> I think I'm doing a, it's a gold, I think I'm doing a red. Fine detail now.
Coordinated. The left ear has an earring in it too, in case anybody wants to see it. Sure, he does have a nose ring. Uh, Longhorn. Shorthorn does not have a nose ring. Okay. Longhorn has nose ring, no earring. So. Oh, okay. I think earring short horn only. Short short horn has the earring. I didn't even see that. Is that his left? Oh shoot, I think that actually mm -mm. Oh yeah, I do have a so I have this gold too. This is a Citadel paint. The retribution armor. Yeah. Eyes are tricky. I think I need like a two. The smallest dots, yeah. Very easy to mess up. Yeah, if I'm painting for table ready, no, they don't get eyes. <laughs> Right 
What's the metal medium? That like metal medium? That's probably gonna be like that metallic also, but silver. Okay. If it, it'll say wash if it's a wash. Should be a color, yeah. Oh, it should be a color. Metal medium. Plus, it, is it clear? Well, yeah, so I'm wondering if it, I'm wondering if it's for using with your metallics to get them uh, a little more extended out or a little thicker. Maybe you mix it with like normal colors to make it metallic. You could that could be that too. That might be uh, it. We're about to find out. It's a metallic blue, a metallic green. I'm on the fence with that. I was thinking like a black and red axe, but it's very wood looking. Yeah, yeah, it should be wood. Yeah, you can see the notches. Right. You want to use a fourth brown. Yeah, if it's the metal one, definitely shake. Otherwise, it's, it's that those get really globby. Yeah, they get really splotchy though. This belt's taking a long time. Just like, don't want to touch the body. Yep, you flip it over. <laughs> yeah, unless you're like causing some serious damage to the other spots, so you gotta go backwards. We should be, we're on track to be done, done by five, I'd say. It's 4.15.
Oh yeah? Especially the the gunmetal stuff? What did you use for the handle? I did uh, gunmetal. Oh, it's like a completely silver blade. That is awesome. I need some of that soap. Yeah. Thank you. Where's my parchment paper? You want a bottom. brighter color in the yeah, lines? Yeah, the lines. I mean, it, it's tough because it's prime black and it's just, yeah. that's going to be, yeah, they're kind of translucent, but I don't know. Any advice mm, on slamming it on top? Not for bright it colors, because, dark. you know, if you wanted, like, the shadow, that's yeah. where you'd throw in a wash, for yeah. sure. Um, I'm not sure for bright. Yeah, it's going to be tough to get in there unless the prime was white to start. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. And my daughter wants to show you okay. Let's see. Oh, my that's goodness. Can I see? Song of Ice and Fire. Oh, really? Yeah. That is awesome. Thank you for showing me. Oh, yep. my goodness. That was 3D printed, so. Oh, really? Well, that's pretty really awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. He's really cool, Evie. I'm glad you're having fun. <laughs> you're talking about the. Yeah, so I was trying to get like a in bright. The, in the blade, bright in the blade, the right? Lines of the blade. I tried just slopping like basically a translucent light color into it, hoping it stays there when I paint the rest like of the room. Like the room, room kind of Yeah, I don't you, know yeah. if that's going to do it or not, because it wasn't quite white under it. Well, but, can I get you? I don't know the name. Mm, we'll it's tricky. <laughs> Unless there was a lighter <laughs> wash, because that can just naturally just get in the cracks, but I don't know what they uh, yeah. Is it the one have in the kits. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I would say would be on the right track of putting Maybe paint the yeah. entire thing I think white. The, yeah. Okay. And then just go. And then take color. whatever. Yeah. Then take whatever. Yeah. Well, well yeah. then whatever color you want in there. Yeah. Paint it, paint, the paint it over the white. <laughs> and then you're gonna and then dry brush the metal yeah. over top of that. Because the only other thing to do is get yourself like a 10 aught brush and try to actually pick it out. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, you're gonna need. You're gonna I need those glasses. <laughs> Wow, the silver is no joke. Yeah. That is really nice. Is the gold crazy? Just looking at this little blob of paint, see how much it starts. Uh, 
Yeah, that silver axe is awesome. Super cool. Now, how clean is the axe, though? How many, was, how, how many, uh, dry, how many, how many blood splatters are on my axe, you know? Mm. Oh, yeah, just like kind of glaze it over. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's cool. Yeah, let's put some blood on this axe. It's a little too shiny. There's no way he got he got it from a shop brand new. He picked it up off the ground. Maybe the person who bought it straight from the shop dropped it when he saw him and ran away and he picked it up. Yep. But then wouldn't he be in full plate? What else can you find on the ground? I wish, I wish this my GM would make this a playable race. I feel like it's a little. Did they? For like, um, for D and D. I can't remember the. Um, oh shoot! I can't remember what book we're using. It's called like Paths of Peril. I think is what we're playing. It's not quite D and D. on the knuckles. There we go. Watch the bottles. <laughs> for the stream. What's the deal on that? Do you have any recommendations for like the base? Yeah, so the base can go a few ways. Um, my initial thought is stone floor, which how I would do is uh, kind of two levels of gray and kind of like a darker and a lighter gray and you kind of just mix it on the base and then if you take like an ivory or an off-white you can you can dry brush it take most of the paint off the brush and just brush it over these kind of high spots or you could do like a dirt like a brown it kind of clashes with the brown on the model though if you use brown you could also do a grass forest floor like a green
Decision, but I'm gonna try it. Give me the snaps. <laughs> he's been, he's been, uh, he's seen stuff. He's seen some action. Broken horn. I just stepped it. The one, uh, yeah. Yeah, kind of at a halfway point right there. We're in no rush, by the way. There's no rush. I mean, yeah, I think what store closes at seven. Man, it is hard to thread the black in the belt. That is almost debated keeping it one color. tricky, but
Get this in focus. What's he got over here to work with? Let's do the base and then we wash. Actually, I think my guy's almost ready for the wash. Just gotta do my base. I have a bone white. I have a bone white here. Try check the off white on this one. Oh, you just need more. Fluorescent magenta. Yeah. I don't have enough. I have all these paints in front of me. I don't have grays. I have like four blacks. I have the dark sea green, which is pretty much a gray. I'm going to start here. Okay. I actually, surprisingly enough, I do have a, I do have a gun metal, but Cole, check this out. The gun metal. Here's what I'm talking about with that. Like, look at that. Yeah, if you like, uh so like it won't survive in a pot like this oh yeah because that metallic stuff is like gonna clump fast my poor gun metal there's my gun metal all right 
Sí, sí, sí. It's nice when it's in a dropper like that, otherwise you get this ball. Okay. Actually, maybe, maybe you can rub off on them. My dark sea green has a lot of blue in it. <clears throat> Doesn't make much sense. Ah. Oh, great. That might be the lighter color I need. Uh, mine's mouth is closed. Hmm, don't have to worry. <clears throat> Oops. Oh. This is dark sea green. It's gray. Don't know what it says on the label. <clears throat> Antlers are. So, like, should they be lighter or darker than the skull? Oh, probably. I almost did it in like dark brown. Dark brown's like, I mean, that's kind of like a deer, I suppose. So. Well, I mean, this looks like a deer. Yeah, I was thinking about doing another another brown. Um, yeah, I'm not thrilled with the black. I might go back, but I don't know. Black just seems kind of jarring compared to the rest of the palette. You're not allowed to go back. I, you know what I did um, before I did the snip? Uh, I had the horns black, but then I did white splotches, kind of like that didn't look good at all. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very light. Yeah. Not like so jarring. Right? It's kind of like pretty subtle and natural looking. Yeah. Oh, the one thing I did not bring is my hair dryer. Can't speed dry. Oh, I imagine that's like super useful for getting the detail back. Yeah. If you have too much on there. Right. Yep, it's easy to uh, fast forward to drying. All right, where's that? I heard there was another gray over here. Yes. Um, I got it right here. That's the oh, no. stone walls right here. Oh, I was looking at the silver. Thanks. It's a very black gray. <clears throat> Let's see if it's brighter than what I'm working if it's brighter than what I'm working with. It's relatively white. Yeah. It's the exact color of our original name. Okay. It's almost a primer. If gray. I do it right, it'll look like I didn't touch it at all. Oh, those were just bubbles. Those weren't drops. Let me drop, please. There we go. Gotta hurry while this is still wet. Do a little. I feel like I'm back in school. Mm hmm. No way. I encourage people to do completely different things. <laughs> you put paint on the canvas. That's an A. Yeah, don't That's paint an A. On your neighbor. You got paint on the. 
<laughs> How bloody is your axe? Yeah. Just like school. Just like school. I have a shall I have a heavy red and a dark red over here that works. But if you want, there was a dried. There was one called dried blood, right? Very authentic looking. Mm -hmm. I guarantee it. I don't. Uh, um, I can pass you. Hang on a second. I can find it for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sorry. I'm looking through three different yeah. things here. Like. No, gotta look, can't can't use. I need the glasses for up close. Yep. But they don't magnify anything, so I need this to magnify it. But then I got to look at anybody else. I got to look. So you got trifocals. Kind of. But <laughs> trifocals. I had the I had cataract surgery, so we replaced both of both of the lenses. Oh, so I will permanently have to have to have readers. Right. Because right. I, per, I permanently can't see up close. I can see fine. I can read the paper. Called you to your base. And everything I did, I can't see yes. this thing. Yes. Yeah. I did like well, uh, I did stone gray, the stone and then gray. I went over it with a mixture of the stone like, gray. Give you a okay. Which kind of gave it a little bit of like texture. I had a, yeah. I had like yeah. a darker yeah. start, right, oh, and then the stone yeah. gray on it. Yeah, it's tough. It's I tough to uh, the, to find the darkest. You think something's gonna be darker than it is. Oh, I really yeah. do. But then there's always an opportunity. Yeah. You could take ivory or like off white. And you can just like very, yeah, very sensitively just brush some on the tops, yeah. But sometimes you can overdo that. Yeah, I think I'm changing the horn color. But the black base is already like, it'll be darker than the fur. So maybe it'll be just different enough. What brown did you use for your body? Another reason why I'm for, for, for your body. The bot, yeah, like the back, yeah. yeah. That was a red, that was a dark flesh white, cool. kind of a reddish one, and then I, I went over it. it with it up, and I okay. This is what I'm going to try for the horns. Appreciate it. Dark flesh tone. The problem is, I remember what I used. I can't get the right, I've tried 10 times now to get the right combo of the right ratio of the stuff. I mean, I do like a lighter you think it looks really great and then it dries and all that's too light, that's too dark. Oh. I love that you put a black spot on the top of that. Yeah. That's fantastic. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. 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 Thank there is a metallic like copper and bronze. There's hammered copper and there's some stuff with I think there's actually a different copper too. Dark one, this one's good. That's the leather for There we go. Make this outfit stuffy outfit. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. Red horns don't look much better, but they're better than black, I think.
actually wants to wet. So, kind of a feeling. Remember, that kind of looks like leather. I got, um, Try a wash. Two picks, good call. Very they're good for eyes, and they're also good for like scraping off uh, the backs and things like that. Right, find a flesh shade here. And you don't know how to re you can remix it, it's going to be hard. <laughs> thinking Madison about using a wash on that ivory I used this flesh you can see how it kind of reddened it but it might take away from like the stark white black you're going for but that's just some Thank <laughs> you. 
Time that just makes me awkward. That's just straight from the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you don't need a lot, I already lost the board. Okay. I never want to use like. Why not? Don't even believe in yourself. <laughs> Yeah, that's good texture. I like the different colors you got yeah. in there. Oh, the blood on the horns is good call. Yeah. yeah. That looks good. Yeah. 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 And, someone, and someone messed with the horns. Yeah. Can't forget the horns. Yeah. Mm. Well, this was massively fun. I unfortunately have to leave. So. No problem. Well, thank you. Yeah, we're, we're coming up to 5 o'clock. I think that we're mostly on schedule. But this is the part where really you can spend as much time as you want tinkering with it. You know? well, this, this was awesome. I love it. Yeah. So any, any instructions I need to do uh, to finish that up or anything? Or? No, really. I mean, if you want to keep throwing some paint on it, obviously you, you got to... Like, or or yeah, so do you want to try it right now or you got to go? Because what I got is, just so you can see, here's an yeah. example one. Open it up, you'll notice it's pretty liquid. And you can take like a flat brush and just a piece of it. Yeah. And you can, and you just put it all over. So like if you, if you, I just supplied it to mine. Okay. And if you look at the body, it was the ivory, right? But now you can see how it's kind of the, it's redded. Oh yeah, yeah. red, you know? Yeah. And it, it naturally finds kind of the cracks and, and creates the natural shadow. That's kind okay. of what the wash does. So you don't, so you don't have to. All right. <clears throat> so if you uh, have a wash, then like, that's like always kind of like the last touch. Okay. Something you put and can off you do that anytime? Does it matter? If yeah. It's a, you can do it anytime. Okay. All right, so yep. if I just get a bottle of, of wash, I can just do it. Yeah, absolutely. It some people don't thing. wash, some people do wash, but yeah, right. it's a definitely an option. So that might, that's, that's my guess. Can I, I'm gonna show it on the okay. camera. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> awesome. The, that blood is in on the horns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the mane on the, the short horn is pretty majestic. I. And your tail looks great. Well, it looks you. great because yeah, it really it really works. That's okay. Yeah. That mm, would be tough. Toothpick. Yeah. That is oh, awesome God. looking. Oh wow. I don't know what to do with the fur color. Fur color? Yeah. Well, let's see. You kind of got. Looks like you got like a greenish brown body. So I think that the general consensus is a lot of our furs have been, darker. yeah, or like, you know, actually kind of similar, kind of like almost greenish brown here. Some did like the darker brown. Yeah, I like the skin tone. I love the purple though. That's a really nice touch. Yeah, the purple and the color works really well together. Looks good. To darken it down. Yeah, that's really good detail on the belt too. It's really good detail. 
is the awesome. Game. Yeah. Probably the brown. I mean, hmm. Uh, I don't know if I want to go more into like black. Yeah. I think that black works too. Yeah. And, and of course, you have the opportunity to, I mean, if you go brown, you have the opportunity to also kind of green or red in it. You know, depending on what you're what you're feeling, but black is a black red is not bad. But I, all of a sudden, you might have too many colors. But that looks awesome. Though. Looks great. Yeah, of course. All right, for stream, we're gonna cut the stream here. But we're going to keep hanging out. But we have start to finish Minotaur Frameworks kit. Assembled, prime, and painted. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Catch you later. You know what?